Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Field, and welcome to the Open House. A real estate open house horror simulator game. Uh, that, that's literally what it advertises itself as, and I think that's exactly what it is. So, if you ever think of buying a house, this game is probably going to give you a little taste of what the process is like. Hello there, my name is Agent Name, and I'm one of the, your local North Tree real estate agents for the Clyde neighborhood area. Nice to meet you. Thank you for being part of our alpha testing program. We're excited about our partnership with Optics Dynamics Labs to help bring you the latest and cutting edge real estate technology for nano drones, photography, and interesting leading machine learning. Huh. But what does that all mean? Well, client name, I'm glad you asked. For the first time ever, we've made the home buying process more convenient by bringing the full open house experience to the comforts of your personal digital devices. It's home buying revolutionized for the 21st century. Through a combination of camera drones and thousands of still images, we can now scan and recreate a fully explorable three-dimensional snapshot of any home. For a seller, that means no more dealing with the inconvenience of multiple showings. For a buyer, you can now browse our entire portfolio while sitting on your couch. This is a natural thing, by the way, in real estate. You can, you can usually do like a kind of weird open house thing now. I, I, find, I myself find it a little bit weird, but you know, it's the future. We're excited to show you a perfect home in your client neighborhood area. It's a fresh listing for one of our newer developments. But before we can get into all that fun stuff, I need to go over some basics of how this all works. Don't worry, it won't take long. I promise. Let's see, let's see what room you're currently in, entryway. Move the cursor around the screen, we'll reveal different icons, turn left, turn right, move forward. Seems straightforward. Now I think we're ready to get started. I highly suggest that you wear headphones to get the full virtual open house experience. Please keep all hands and feet inside the ride at all times, or remember to have fun. And do let us know if there's anything we can do to improve your experience, because here at North Street Real Estate, you, client name, are our highest priority. You and your money. Loading scan of Hollow Lake. What is this? Disabled in alpha. Live chat or make offer? Hmm. Let's see details. The interior has a nice modern look with a spacious vaulted ceiling. There's also a convenient guest bathroom located just down the hall. Interesting. Overview? Let's see. Three bedroom, 2.5 bath, 2300 square feet. Looks a little bigger than 2,300 square feet. Uh, I guess you're not counting the garage. Beautiful three bedroom, 2.5 bathroom, multi-level home looking new suburban development. A little barren too. Features including an all brick fireplace, hardwood floor, central air, and nearby shopping attractions. 6,500 6, square feet lot, single family, two parking spaces we see at the year. Year built, 2019 home. Um, 385,000. A little bit pricier than what I'm used to in my area. But if this was in a good state, you know, that's a pretty good deal. Um, and if this was California, that'd probably be 800,000. <laughs> ah, life. What else we got here? There's a door. It's a little weird, actually. Let's go to this, what looks like a living room. Give me some information, real estate agent. This cozy living room receives tons of natural light during the day, and the brick fireplace adds the perfect touch of warmth for the cold winter months. Huh, not bad. It's kind of a small living room though. When I think about it. Dining room right next to it. Moderate sized dining room. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty small living room. Like where do you put the TV? Well no, the TV's right there. Still though. Small. I feel like it could be a little bigger. Is that us? It's kind of facing the wrong way, isn't it? 
I guess it's us. It's just like a little bit. The dining room is a perfect entertaining space with clear set lines to the backyard and living room as well as easy access to the kitchen. Eh, got a shovel back there. Decent kitchen. With modern appliances and tons of space, you'll never have to worry about having too many cooks in your kitchen. Too many cooks, too many cooks. Let's check out the garage. Nice garage, two car. Hey! Two car garage has plenty of room for storage. It can be converted into that perfect personal space you've always wanted. Hey, uh, can you give me some details on this? Great. I'll take it. It's the perfect, it's the perfect goth home dream. A little bit of blood here and there. Some crossed out eyes and glitchy things. Fabulous. Alice Cooper would love it. I'm still weird out with this little reflection. Like I said, I think it's just supposed to be us. And it's just facing the wrong direction. Uh, well, let's check upstairs. I think I saw something in that room I wasn't supposed to see as I came up. But you know... Hey, why don't you give me details? Maybe they don't have any details for this room. The master bedroom. A massive walk-in closet and an in-suite bathroom make this 500 square feet master bedroom your sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It is a big master bedroom. I do like that. But I didn't Hold up, hold up, I don't want to go here yet. Check out the master bathroom. Marble counters and tiling add a sense of luxury that helps you unwind and relax after a long day. A little cold looking though, very gray. I prefer some like warmer tones. Hmm. We have to walk a little bit more forward. So what's this room? The office? The second floor bedroom is perfect for a smaller child or a home office or when you really need to get work done. What kind of work? Don't look at. What am I not looking at? And um, there's some scratch marks over there. Did they have a dog? Does he have a bathroom? A never completely redone and modern full bathroom means never having to find out who gets to use a shower first. Awesome. Until more than two people live in your house. Laundry room upstairs. Hey! So that wasn't just a reflection. A second floor laundry room means no more hauling heavy loads of clothes down the stairs. Talk about real time saver. Are you gonna address the elephant in the room? Well, no, this is virtual. I'm fine. What am I worried about? I'm worried more about the cameraman who recorded this. Scratch. Hey, I heard a door. It still bothers me.
Is Anne Hall bad room is large enough for two small children or that moody teenager who enjoys the privacy and loud music? You ain't gonna be enjoying no loud music in my household. Only I'm allowed to do that. Well, I think we've seen the whole house. I did hear a creak of like a door opening, right? Hey, the front door opened. Is that the end of the tour? Entryway. Hmm. Wait, no. Here's the guest bathroom. This guest bathroom has been recently updated with new fixtures and plumbing, so you can rest assured that your guests have the latest and modern convenience. Uh. I heard some more noises. Upstairs this time? Is this like saying like, oh, you can leave whenever you want? Well, no, it's virtual. We don't even leave. It's literally just a tour. Oh, I see. Check mark. There's one more left. Hey. What is that? Hair? Hair. It says it. Uh oh. Uh oh. The thing's not popping up anymore. Don't look. What am I not looking at? The UI is separate from me. That's a little weird. Hey, hey, cut that out, that's weird. This will be helping me with real estate, not freaking me out. <laughs> then again. <laughs> ah! Is it the end of the game? Nope. Do not whatsoever. What happened here? Is it just spooky and hot? I don't know. Alright, that thing on the right is just kind of weird looking. Deepung mode, camera one. It's the devil on your shoulder. I get it now. Missing scan data. Zero out four. Please rescan second floor. Oh no, we're no longer on the track, and now we're fully controlling it. Very poorly, I might add you. They said it was they said it was drone scan, right? Am I scanning? Scan complete one of four. Each room, I guess. Two out of four. It's inside. 
Three out of four. I guess we're not scanning the bathroom. No, we are scanning the bathroom. We are not scanning the bedroom. Scan complete. Now what? Saving and compiling. Error inconsistent scan dimensions? Please rescan master bedroom. Great. It's looking a little extra square footage. Welcome home. What's this? Huh. System play window. Window.wav. There's a wave. I'm not sure. So, uh. I thought we gained some square footage. Looks like we kind of lost the square footage. System unassigned reference. Doing a little redecorating too. Not sure if I just loop around or do I wait? Hmm. Hey, real estate agent guy. Pulling a baldy on me, I see. Oh wait, something op opened up here. Is this tied to the hallway creepypasta? Feels kind of familiar, doesn't it? System locate player. Tag. It character. Uh-oh. I think this is going to be another looping hallway. It is the same exact hallway from before. I'm about to be tagged. Aren't I? That's a countdown to when it's going to spawn. Oh crap, it's behind me. Wait, no. We're fine. Okay, the clock went to the minus. Uh, this is, this is actually somewhat comedic now. Press tab to change cameras. Does that work? It did. You know, I thought this was just going to be like a... Oh, you discover there's a murder and some blood, and that's it. This became a little more involved than that, and, uh... I'm a little bit amazed.
Oh. Make an offer. I think we just offered my soul. That was like a good stockholder images. The father. The it. Yeah, they just offered me up. You know what, I think I'm gonna... Oh, look, I expect a call soon. Um, there's a guy hanging out there. I can't even tell if it's over yet or not. Is there another scare? So that's it for the open house, or virtual open house, or the offer, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, kind of nifty little... Horror game. It's an interesting, unique concept. I think it's not unique in the sense like, oh, I think it's easy enough to think, oh, it's a, it's a real estate. Someone murdered happened. But it had enough kind of like interesting little spots for a uh, kind of short indie, free indie horror game that it was interesting. It was a little, you know, a little bit cheesy at times. And I think purposely so. I think it's supposed to be somewhat comedic, not just scary. But I think this is, this is basically the definition of nifty. Certainly not amazing. There's nothing extremely scary or anything like that, but it's kind of mixed its uniqueness and its little traits together to make a somewhat enjoyable, you know, 20 minute experience. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play Open House. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.